Hey everybody, Dusty here. Uh, welcome to Tuesday's training. It's early, just having my breakfast smoothie and a coffee before I hit up the pool with a friend at, uh, gotta be there by 7.30 this morning. So I'm really looking forward to today. Today is G sessions and I should finish by lunch or maybe even early afternoon. So I'm starting the day off with an early swim. Uh, be about 3K with a main set of 2,000 meters broken down into all 50s and they're all done with pull buoy and paddles. I'll spare you the specific details, but it's obviously a strength set. Then after that, I'll come home and have second breakfast my favorite part of the day. Um, I usually keep breakfast quite small for these early swims so today I'm just having a quick smoothie like a banana, some frozen fruit, a heaping tablespoon of coconut oil and some water. Usually I would put some uh, hemp hearts in for some added protein but fortunately I'm all out at the moment. Okay so after I'm done swimming I'm heading to the track for an hour run with a main set of six by one kilometers. Either right after that or later on in the day, um, I finish my training off with probably a 20 to 30 minute kettlebell session. And that'll be it for the day. So I think I'm going to chug my smoothie and maybe I can grab a coffee on the way to the pool. See you there. done it went well um, no new swim record set but it's progress nonetheless now I'm just back at home I'm gonna have second breakfast like I said earlier and then uh, then we'll get ready and head to the track for the main session of the day so today's track session is a good one it's nothing too too crazy so I'll start off with a 20 minute warm-up and then I'll go into the main set which is 6 by 1 K done on the track and kilometers one three and five the odd ones are all done at a medium effort and then all of the even kilometers are done at a harder effort and for my rest intervals in between i'm just going to jog 200 meters for recovery just because you're going to the track doesn't mean you have to just bomb out every interval and go as hard as you possibly can i like using the track one, because it's a soft surface, it doesn't beat up my legs like running on pavement. And two, the track is truth. You know running two and a half laps is a kilometer every single time. It's not 1.1k or 10 meters long, 10 meters short. You know it's, it's bang on every time. So I like using the track for that reason as well. But I don't do all out time trials every time I go to the track. Like today, only three of the six kilometers are done at a harder effort. So I'll definitely talk a little bit more about the track as I keep making these training videos and as the vlog goes on. But yeah, just remember that you don't have to go to the track and do sprints only or one mile time trials. You can you can slow it down a bit and just use it as a set distance because like I said, it doesn't lie. Alright, and after I do the 6x1K, I think I'm going to do a cool down of 10 to 15 minutes and then that'll be it should take me around an hour and probably be about 14 or 15 K I'm assuming and then after that I'll finish the day with a kettlebell session so let's go to the track it's a nice day session done it went really well um, if you're wondering what I ran for the medium kilometers medium effort kilometers and what I ran for the hard effort kilometers I'll just put it up right here for you my legs are feeling really strong the medium kilometers felt like I could hold that pace all day long 330s I could just click them off one after another pretty pretty comfortable that I'd be able to hold that for a half right now 
yeah, I'm definitely lacking that extra gear when it comes to the hard efforts. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now for the hard effort kilometers. Obviously, as race season gets closer, I want to be a lot more, a lot, I want to be faster, but I want to be a lot more efficient with those as well. I could feel my form getting a little sloppy as the, the, the hard effort kilometers progressed. So I, I know what I need to work on. But my leg's feeling really strong this early in the year. I'm super happy about that. And the run worked out to about 14 and a half K, I think. I ran for just under an hour. So now uh, I might take a little nap with my wife and baby, and then I'll hit up a 20 to 30 minute kettlebell session. All right, a um, couple hours have passed since I got home from the track. I wasn't able to get a nap in, but did get some baby cuddles in, which, which are always the best. Are you happy? Now all I have left is a kettlebell session. Uh, legs are feeling a little bit tired, so instead of 20 to 30 minutes, probably 15 to 20 minutes. But uh, might actually do a double kettlebell session today, which is twice as hard. After that, I will be free for the day. <laughs> done uh, it was hard I did four rounds of double kettlebells lots of clean squats presses it's not easy but but I love doing it for my strength routine a couple times a week even had a little supervisor make sure I was doing everything correctly so that's my day it wasn't too long um, only about two and a half hours of actual training uh, but a lot of it was quite intense. Started the day off with uh, strength base swim and then did the, the main session of the day which was the track workout and uh, just finished up a quick little kettlebell workout and now, uh, now feet up and lots of good food in me for the rest of the day. So if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe for more everything running triathlon and nutrition related. Bye! Of efforts and what I ran for the 